Hello and welcome back. I am honestly glad that you're all here to suffer with me through what is an especially awful episode of The Spew. On The Spew, everything is always the Republicans' fault. Even if it's a war raging in the Middle East, that's been going on longer than any of them have been alive. You know, for me, I'm not a geopolitical expert or anything like that. I <laughs> But I've said many times, my grandfather is Jewish. I don't care! And so my family has been roiling about this. What is, what is terrifying to me also is that there is so much anger on the Israeli side. Ar arguably correctly so. Very good, Louis. Short, but... Pointless. And so I would like to know who's behind this, because it's very interesting that now I would think Putin is sitting back and saying, wow, well, they're going to send their money to Israel. So maybe they way. won't send them to Ukraine. They won't send the money to Ukraine now. I'm very suspicious of this. And what did Donald Trump tell Putin when he was in Helsinki? These are questions that need to be answered in this country. Like I've shown in past videos, they always concoct conspiracy theories to somehow blame Republicans for everything. They did it with the coke found in the White House. They even did it for Democrat Jamal Bowen pulling a fire alarm to delay a vote and the disaster at Burning Man. But all of that aside, it's pretty clear that Iran planned and executed this attack on Israel through Hamas. Yes, Putin probably had some hand in supporting, but it's way more likely that the six billion Joe Biden just freed up to the Iranians really sealed the deal. So that was their conspiracy theory a few days ago. Now their latest conspiracy is that Republicans are to blame because of their so-called infighting that nobody actually cares about. The world is seemingly blowing up right now and the US looks weak That's right. on the world stage because we can't even name a speaker of the house. I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god. She's serious right now. Hamas attacked Israel because their stated reason for existing is the eradication of Israel and Jews worldwide. But if America does look weak right now, it probably has something to do with the potato that's been in charge for the last three years and the idiots around him leading to things like the Afghanistan retreat, which left weapons that we know got into the hands of Hamas. And then there's Joe Biden's very real and very public mental meltdown. The man cannot speak or walk without tripping over himself. Or how about the very divided and thus weaker country that Joe Biden has created, which included calling half the country semi-fascists. Or his awful economy popped up by obvious media propaganda. His slow response to Maui. His really, really slow response to East Palestine, Ohio. Or how about condemning his own country to dependency on our foreign enemies for oil when we could quite literally be the world's largest exporter. Because he's in an eco-cult that thinks we're gonna somehow replace oil right now with solar and wind. But sure, Sarah, go on. I kind of looked at it and thought, you know, this division invites enemies in. And right now we're seeing a massive spread of disinformation on our what? online as a result of this. And so this morning we talked about maybe watching less news. We were all yesterday teasing about like for our mental health, we need to do that. I would encourage House Republicans to watch more news mm -hmm. for perspective. Yeah, yeah the guy <laughs> digs me. Hey, what's wrong with this guy? I don't know. Bring some water, water my ass. All right, folks, I'm getting over a cold and I can only take so much of the spew, but I do appreciate you watching and hope you keep coming back. Thanks a lot.